today, I'm going to be introducing y'all to Toboot, why it's important, and how you install it on your phone. So come on, let's get going. Do you think I was actually going to float this into the car? here. Today we're going to be talking about Toboot. It's a U-boot distribution designed to make booting boring. We're going to talk about why you probably want to install it on your phone as well as go through the steps to actually get it in there. So let's get started. Toboot is a distribution of U-boot. It's designed to be boring so that you don't have to worry about the options you never really cared about to begin with. Distributions like Mobian are no longer going to include the bootloader in their images, so regardless of your distribution, it's probably going to become required for you to boot your phone anyway. Toboot aims to become the grub of phone hardware. They want to be able to allow you to not have to worry about the bits and pieces of your phone and just get it working. No one wants to be messing with setting up just trying to get their bootloader running. They want to be able to use their application to play with things. So let's get going and get this installed and we'll see how it works. Let's get set up to copy my Toku image to my SD card. I just need my dongle. Everybody loves the word dongle, but I guess it's an Apple thing. Take off the cover, pull out the battery, and pull out the SD card. By now, I'm pretty used to this process. Toboot's binaries are a little bit harder to find than you might find for some other projects. You have to look at the release link that's on the right-hand side of the page. After clicking that and scrolling down, you'll see the downloads for the different binary files. In my case, it's PinePhone Pro because that's the coolest phone ever. Now that you've downloaded it, you just have to decompress it and copy it to your SD card. I already installed Xeon Tar through Brew, I just have to decompress and unarchive the file with a few different commands. Now that I have the image file, I can use DD to do a raw copy of the R disk endpoint. R disk compared to disk is much faster because it's doing raw disk access. But please keep in mind, this is just a macOS thing. On Linux, you don't have to worry about this. Oops, forgot to do. Please make me a sandwich. Yes! Now I just have to get this SD card back into my phone and boot it up. Will it boot? It booted! This is the interface for installing Toboot. It's very simple, but it's straightforward. You're going to want to install Toboot into your internal memory so that you don't have to keep installing it over and over again. After a few seconds, the installation will complete and you have the option to shut down your phone. After you shut it down, you can reinstall anything you want into your SD card and you will have whatever OS you want to boot. And there you have it. So the installation of Toboot wasn't all that complicated. I've used it for a little bit now and I can say it's definitely a little bit less buggy. You'll see it help with things like, say, uh, suspend. If you notice any mistakes in this video or want to add any other information, please feel free to comment in the comments. I always read what's down there and I really appreciate any feedback that I get. Well, anyway, bitter out. I hope you have a great day. Next time, I'm probably going to be reviewing the wireless charging case of the PinePhone Pro.
what, wait, what, what's that sound? My phone! 